sunken chest. Uh, introducing first from the streets of Los Angeles, Hollywood! I'm Hollywood and I'm from L.A. Now you listen to what I got to say. Keep yourself in the ring, step on your face. Then you know you have been disgraced. Your part today from New York City. Strong and deaf and deaf. This just said, girl, never back down, because all she wants is the glow crown. Oh, yeah. yeah. what's, what's this? She doesn't even know how to spell kicks. Okay? Well, I figured she's from LA. Hollywood, that was totally uncalled for. That was uncalled for, Hollywood. Ooh, she slaps her across the face. And the street gal dumps Johnny C probably putting a run in his best pantyhose. They lock up collar and elbow. A quick kick and arm drag downs the New Yorker. This match build is the Avenue versus the street. Roxy represents Park Avenue, and Hollywood will take any street. Ooh, a vicious flying elbow. Oh, but she misses a second one. Now Asta corrals her foe. Oh, a big clothesline almost splits her in two. The Manhattan girl steps up the attack with those savat-like kicks. She's putting her stump of approval on the Californian. Ooh, Hollywood gets out of dodge, and Roxy jams herself. They'll both be lucky if they have a leg to stand on. She leaps over that rolling tackle, and again. And Hollywood decks her with a clothesline. You know who takes out the Park Avenue trash? Anyone who has a date with Roxy Astor. <laughs> The street girl catching her breath outside the ropes. Remember, she came into this match right after another brawl. She pulls Roxy out. The sleek grappler loves to battle out of the ring. That's her turf. Ooh, and Esther gets a head full of ring post. And the street fighter decides to show her to a front row seat. Unfortunately, there's a fan in it. Hollywood goes after her spray can. She promised to paint the town red and wants to start with Roxy's head. The Californian claims to have done many portraits. Sure, she smeared a lot of girls on the canvas. And this little game of cat and mouse may wind up with Asta getting counted out. New Yorker avoiding the spray. I guess that makes her an artful dodger. She boots both of her foes away. Now Hollywood trying to get her kicks in. Oh, she's dropped to the mat hard. And Roxy takes over. She corrals her. A reversal. Oh, when she gets a gut full of turnbuckle. <laughs> now, there's an upset stomach. Hollywood's wrestling techniques are definitely street material, just like her. Well, I plan on cleaning up the streets and using her hair as a mop. New Yorker holds her up and slams it down to the mat. Hollywood getting worn down. After all, this is a second match. But she catches Roxy with an arm drag. Don't count her out yet. Hollywood comes back more times than a homesick boomerang. She rocks her with a knee. Now a sledgehammer to the gut. The street gal's recuperative powers make the six million dollar man look like a buck and a quarter. Into the ropes. Ooh, a slashing right to the top of the head. Both of them jolted by the force of that blow. 
Into the ropes. Another right. No. A duck under go behind takedown. And she rolls Hollywood up for the pin. And Roxy just barely able to pull this one out. Always looking for a quick buck, the streetwise Hollywood competed in tag matches as well as singles. Any competition she could get, she would, so she could get her greedy little hands on an even bigger share of Glow's winning purses. Eventually, Hollywood called upon her old partner from her street girl days, and together, Hollywood and Vine brought as much chaos to Glow as their namesake corner did to their hometown of Hollywood, California. <laughs>